All right, hi, I'm Kara Norman, and I'm here with Kristen O'Brien from 500 Startups. And um, we're doing the, the Meerkat Daily Five. It's a new series that we're gonna, we're gonna try, to try out here every day. So um, we have five quick uh, speed dating topics that we're gonna go through. And um, hopefully everyone watching, now uh, two of you will enjoy. So um, first topic is actually Meerkat itself. We'll go through this quickly. Meerkat and the importance of brand. Over to you, Kristen. Okay, so I'm gonna put it out there that I think the brand with the name Meerkat is so integral to the business. There used to be a show, I'm not sure if many of you remember, there was a show on like the Nature Channel or something that was called Meerkat Manor. It was an entire show about meerkats, a whole season of meerkats. I used to watch it with bated breath. So I think like the concept of a meerkat coming out, looking around, and getting a little quick peek and then going back in their hole is the perfect brand for the company and it's part of why they're going to be successful. We're all visual learners and we all see the and the yellow <laughs> Snapchat-esque um, branding and it sticks with us. I should also note that I was explaining Meerkat to my four and a half year old last night and she said, of course, I do a Meerkat. I asked you for one for my birthday last year. <laughs> so Chris and I both think that Meerkat as a name was, was, a, was a good choice. Okay, moving on to the next topic. I'm going to do this topic. We were talking about the Sandwich Video Fund, um, which was uh, announced yesterday. To me, this is fascinating as, as an L.A. native and now an L.A. VC because um, ultimately what it's saying is that there is one company that is so great at developing launch videos that has such market power that is so in demand that they can actually request equity in a company and get it. Um, to me, it tells the, sort of the power of storytelling, the difficulty of creating great content, and a lot of what I think is great about Los Angeles. So, um, it's a, you know, it's a, I think it's a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool indicator of um, a lot of the things that we're great at here. The other thing I'd say is um, UC, USC Film School is, um, I sat in and judged a business plan competition there recently, and it was very much, it felt like, um, when it comes to storytelling and content, very much like sitting in a Stanford engineering class. It's sort of like you see the future generation of storytellers, um, and it's hard to do. We have great talent that does it really well. Guys, you should start a launch video company um, because um, obviously there's a need, uh, there's, there's a huge demand for great storytelling. Okay, moving along. Um, the next topic is, um, a TV show concept that we have, uh, and again, storytelling to amplify really cool, big, existing Silicon Valley brands. I'm going to turn it over to Kristen. I'm blanking out on this topic. What is oh. it? Oh, oh, this was the Airbnb Home Away. Oh. Your favorite TV okay. show, what it inspired. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, so. I want to talk about Airbnb versus HomeAway. So everyone in the tech industry loves Airbnb, they focus on it. I think something that a lot of people don't realize is that HomeAway has much better inventory. In fact, it's a Google Ventures investment. So I've used HomeAway, which also owns VRBO for many years, and without a doubt, I use it over and over and over because the inventory, there's also something else that people don't focus on, is the margins are better on HomeAway. Airbnb is attracting the younger generation who need to sleep on a couch or trying to get a really good deal, and that's great, and there's a market for that. However, if you compare it to HomeAway, it's attracting people like me, a little bit older, need a bigger place, need a backyard because we have a dog or people okay. with kids. Okay, we got it. Now, oh, what's sorry. the concept? The storytelling concept. The storytelling concept. The right. brand building concept. Brand building concept is a TV show that's sort of like a House Hunters or House Hunters International that tracks the different stories that occur, uh, the transactions that occur on HomeAway or Airbnb, right? That was your sort of... Yeah, I mean, it's sort of like, think of uh, Travel and Leisure, Spa Magazine, any of these sort of like, you flip through them, aspirational, can I take a vacation can there? A vacation? Wouldn't you what love to sit, I think of Cribs, sit down and watch a 30 minute TV show on on the most exotic Airbnb or HomeAway locations, The and you know, kind of bookmark them, send them into your app, create a fully interactive experience. It's real estate voyeurism. Let us, Real estate voyeurism, but applied to kind of new on-demand models. Let us know. Do people like this idea? Do they not? Should we take it to Mark Burnett? I think it's all possible. Yeah, um, yeah. Mark, don't try to copy that. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, fourth topic. We're going okay. to do in five. Meerkat Daily Five. Uh, lean in. Lean in. Let's go for lean in. Okay. Should I should I do my lean in spiel here? You want to you want to film the lean in? Sure. So we were talking about lean in. Um, 
we're both obviously Sheryl Sandberg fans. However, one thing that's always bothered me about Lean In is this. One thing that's bothered me, one thing I love. The thing that's bothered me has always been um, the idea of get a great partner. Um, because I sort of feel like if you don't have a great partner, you just feel like crap. And what are you supposed to do? Get rid of that partner? I guess it's an option, but more than anything, you got one, you don't got one. Uh, maybe, I, I understand, it creates the dialogue. It gives you a reason to open it up and to say, Cheryl clearly, clearly has a great partner, but what about me? Anyway, mostly I think it just makes people who don't have a great partner feel not so great. The one I love is, um, is actually... Um, don't take yourself out of the game until you need to take yourself out of the game. So, which means don't foresee all the things that could go wrong or could be problems because more often than not, they're not. Take it day by day, do what you're passionate about, address it in the moment. All right, last topic for the Meerkat Daily Five um, coming from Kristen. Uh, and um, by the way, if anyone wants to uh, share a, a question for topic number six, we'd be happy to take one from the audience. <laughs> Um, but topic number um, topic number five is um, Kristen's been at the forefront of developing innovative new programs from her days at Demo to um, to uh, to as a founder of uh, uh, 500 startups and creating sort of a ecosystem approach to investing. And I just want to get your quick perspectives on LA and what you think the opportunity is in LA. So I think that the opportunity in LA, I have to say that I cringe at the Silicon Beach. It doesn't even roll off the tongue very well. But you know, with 500 startups, I've traveled all around the world, and I've seen developing technology ecosystems from India to China to you know parts of the U.S. and here in L.A. I think that the opportunity for L.A. is to be L.A. is to be L.A. tech, not Silicon Beach, not try to replicate Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley can never be replicated, just like Hollywood will never be replicated. Um, but I, I think there's a lot happening here. It has. Um, very good fundamentals. You have great investors like Upfront Ventures and several others. I think there needs to be more investors coming down here. I hear Fred Wilson just bought a house uh, in Santa Monica. This is a good sign and uh, I see great things to come here. So I'm excited about it. Um, awesome. Uh, that, is, uh, that is our Meerkat uh, Daily Five. I'm here today with Kristen O'Brien who's down hanging out from San Francisco and um, hope everyone has a great day. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> Bye, guys.